Hello everybody, uh, my name is Dean and welcome to the first edition of Grandma's Handbag. Grandma's Handbag? Why have I called it that? Well, you never know what you're going to find in Grandma's Handbag. And with that, I uh, thought I'd make this episode a uh, quick introduction. There's a few things I want to uh, do to uh, kick it off uh, this channel. And um, the first thing I suppose is, um, you know, let you know a little bit about myself and a little bit about the channel. And uh, also, maybe first and foremost, is just put a shout out to the vinyl community as well. Um, just some thank yous there for some people that have inspired me. I mean, all of you have um, have really uh, shown me uh, some things that can be done with um, with just talking music, talking your passions, and talking uh, about your collections and and things that that happen in and around uh, vinyl and and music uh, more generally. So. Um, Thank you to all of you. Thank you for tuning in as well. And um, special thanks as well, I suppose, to uh, some people that uh, have really um, uh, inspired me, I suppose. And, and if I can read them out now, just bear with us for a second. Uh, first off, we've got uh, Craig over at Craig Vinyl. Um, really enjoyed his uh, passion and... Um, and, and uh, the journey I think he's been on as well, so uh, that's been great. Uh, Diana at Digging in the Crate, um, fantastic channel, um, really doing some good things there, so I recommend you check her out as well. Um, who else have we got? We got uh, James Buttery over in New Zealand. Uh, hey James, I don't know. Um, yeah, James has just got some really interesting uh, music choices and things, and again, it's a very uh, unique journey uh, he's on over there, and it's, it's a great uh, watchable channel, so thanks, James. Um, I mean, there's so many I could thank, there's, um, or, or, or mention, you know, Jeff Party as well as uh, Vinyl Professor. Look, the list goes on and on, so, um, but thank you, all of you. I've, I've seen quite a few videos I've seen um, you know a lot of posts on the um, Facebook page as well so keep them coming and uh, look forward to uh, lurking less and contributing more um, okay so with that out of the way um, grandma's handbag what is it well like I said you never know what you're gonna find in grandma's handbag and um, you know it's gonna be a lot of music you know it could be uh, could be tapes it could be CDs, but uh, more than likely it could be uh, my preferred, my favourite format, which is uh, the good old vinyl records you uh, you see behind us here. Not to mention that you can never for forget Grandma's little helper. Um, Grandma's little helper will probably turn up most episodes if uh, if I remember to uh, dig in there and. Uh, pull a little uh, drink out myself for that so cheers for some of that as well uh, grandma's little helper this week is um, a nice little Balvenie whiskey so look forward to some more of that in future as well okay um, what else can I say quickly um, I suppose as an introduction I, I saw someone else do this which was a lovely introduction and um, and way to get a, a sense is just a quick overview uh, of some things uh, firstly that I'm looking to do in future and you know I've got some um, I've got some things coming up planned for the channel that uh, hopefully can stick around for um, uh, I've got uh, a vinyl haul that I've just uh, recently sort of uh, cleaned up and everything so I'm really excited to show you that pretty soon um, not to mention it came with a little uh, dice, dice with death. Yeah, we all know what that is. Some potential uh, nasties in there, but uh, wait and see what uh, what's come out with that dice with death. Uh, what else have we got? Um, been a lucky guy. There's uh, I've just come back from Japan, so uh, I've got a haul of uh, Japanese vinyl and mainly Japan Japanese presses. So hopefully um, you can stick around for that as well. 
Um, hopefully I'll get into that one the very next uh, episode after this introduction, in fact. Um, there'll be more recent purchases. Um, I'll try and get into uh, maybe an A to Z down the track on the, the collection. Um, there's uh, not a lot in there. I'd say there's about 500 uh, records or so. Um, I have been collecting, I'd say, for close to uh, 20 years. So um, while it sort of uh, goes in fits and starts, um, I'm pretty happy with the amounts I've had there. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll look forward to uh, introducing you to those guys a little later on and maybe further down the track with the channel, some discussion as well. Um, I've got a couple of themes and things that I want to uh, get into and, and uh, you know hear what you guys have to say. Um, I really enjoy uh, reading the comments and things like that so if you feel like uh, leaving some as well today um, please do let us know. Uh, give us a thumbs up as well and um, yeah if you like what you hear maybe even subscribe that'd be lovely. Um, Alright I think it's time to uh, dig into uh, the channel, into the handbag, sorry, for the first time. And um, just as a way of an introduction as well, I thought I'd get the uh, the five, five of the most recent purchases I've had. A little quick story uh, attached to them and, um, and maybe you can get some insight then into, um, into who I am and what the handbag's all about. So um, here we go into the handbag first purchase or most recent just yesterday um, the church is uh, further deeper from 2014 been listening to this on CD for a while and it just kept occurring to me how strong a release this is it's um, you know I was a bit suspicious with a new guitarist in there but uh, it really is Steve Kilby's show um, just fantastic. He's just flexing all of his muscles. He's been uh, in the game for 40 years, and and it feels like this is, you know, right at the top of the game for the church. Um, a definite classic of theirs. So that's one down out of the handbag. The second one, um, Phil Manzanera. I think I think this is his first solo album. Um, and geez, there's some great stuff on there. Really enjoying uh, this. There's some tracks where he uh, absolutely lets rip. There's some great collaborators too. We've got uh, Robert Wyatt on the, uh, well, couple of tracks, I think, but certainly on the first one. Which, look, I must admit, it's mainly in Spanish and uh, the words sort of cascade around them. It's a bit of a hard one to love, but when Manzanera steps up on the... Uh, on the guitar, he can really let rip some beautiful solos and things. So, um, as a bit of an Eno fan, really finding a lot to like in this at the moment. Okay, next one. This is really interesting. I uh, I haven't heard it yet. So if you um if anyone out there loves this, uh, let me know. It, it's um I don't well, how could you describe it? I mean, well look. A Tale from the American Civil War, 1861 to 65. Doesn't give it away a, a lot away there, but when you um, open up, or you can probably see some of the names on the back, Jesse Coulter, Waylon Jennings, um, and, and in the band here you got Bernie Ledden, you know, um, a classic name, obviously Eric Clapton. A um, couple of the other guys I'm not as familiar with, um, but I tell you what, there's some big names here, and then produced and engineered by, you know, one of the glamour guys of, uh, the 70s, uh, production teams, Glyn John, so, I mean, big name players, it's gonna sound good, I'm sure, whether or not the, uh, the content of the songs and that, and the delivery is, um, is up there, we'll wait and see, but, um, you know, this was uh, $1 or something, so I think uh, I really had to give it a shot. It sem seemed almost like an English-style concept album, um, rather than something would be coming out of America, but there you go. Um, late 70s America is um, representing right here. Alright, uh, a couple more now. Um, well, 
when you see that floating around for a couple of dollars, um, you got to do it, don't you? Um, yeah, we've all heard uh, uh, Walter, or I suppose it's uh, Wendy Carlos now. Anyway, this is a classic, um, uh, classical album. So another couple of dollars, I think it's pretty well spent. And lastly, um, another recent uh, purchase. And this one is a thanks also to Diana from uh, Digging in the Crate. She put a needle drop on uh, Gabriella Cohen's full disclosure and no details and sounded absolutely fantastic. I've been playing this on and off and letting it wash over me. Some lovely stuff. The first track is spookily reminiscent of uh, some really early Jefferson Airplane. I don't know, there's some... Grace Slick on the vocals and things in there. And the other stuff is harder to pigeonhole, but um, but uh, very nice uh, stuff worth worth checking out. Um, yeah, I wish I had some more some more words for this at the moment, but uh, we'll get there on that uh, a little later. Anyway, all right. So that's it. The uh, the handbag is um, pretty empty at the moment. But I've got some more things coming up. Like I said, um, just as the handbags come from Japan, um, I've got some Japanese presses. I really look forward to showing you. And in the meantime, um, yeah, thanks again. Thanks for tuning in. Um, and look forward to uh, being on uh, YouTube with uh, Grandma's handbag uh, a little more uh, often in future. Okay, thank you.